Hi everyone, in this video we will look at the Mo and the Avogadro constant. At the end of this video, you should be able to explain what is a Mo and how to use the number of moles to find the mass of a substance and vice versa. Loosely speaking, the mole is a way to count substances. In our daily life, you would be familiar with the use of the word pair, dozen, or even ream. A pair would mean two, while a dozen means 12, and a ream of paper would imply there are 500 sheets of paper. But when it comes to atoms and molecules, they are so small and it will not be practical to use things like pair, dozen or reams to count them because in a simple drop of water, there could be millions and millions of particles. So we need a far bigger unit and this is where the mole comes in. A mole of a substance refers to 6 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. One mole of any molecule, atom, ion, would mean there are 6 times 10 to the power of 23 of these particles in there. Now you can see that the mole of a substance is an extremely huge number. We now introduce the units for the number of moles and that is MOL. The molar mass of a substance is the mass of one mole of a substance. And we will not be surprised to realize that the molar mass has the same numerical value as the AR or MR of the substance. So for example, iron, if we were to look at the periodic table, the relative atomic mass for iron is 56. One mole of iron atoms have a mass of 56 grams. So we say that the molar mass is 56 grams per mole. In other words, 6 times 10 to the power of 23 iron atoms would weigh 56 grams. So how is this different from the relative atomic mass? The difference is that the molar mass has units, whereas the relative atomic mass does not have a unit. Let's look at another example. Let's erase this first. Okay, now we zoom into water. In water, the MR would be 18, so two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom. Now, the molar mass of water is 18 grams per mole, which means that one mole of water molecules weigh 18 grams. So if I have a cup of water, I fill it to 18 grams, there would be exactly 6 times 10 to the 23 water molecules. So if the molar mass is the mass in one mole, the number of moles would be the mass divided by the molar mass. In other words, we can express this as number of moles is the mass over the molar mass. Just to show you this example, we said that one mole of water weighs 18 grams, so half a mole of water would weigh 9 grams. So if I have say 6 grams, I can actually find the number of moles using this equation. Now take note that in this equation, the mass is in grams. So sometimes questions might give you other units of mass such as kilograms and tons, and these must be converted to grams first before you can use this equation. Let's illustrate this with an example. 
Here, we are asked to calculate the number of moles of calcium chloride in 6.66 grams. So we apply the formula. Number of moles is the mass over molar mass. So 6.66 gram is the mass, which goes here. The molar mass is the same as the MR, which goes there. So the number of moles, which is this over this, is 0 0.06 mole. Always remember that when we talk about number of moles, we must have a unit, which is MOL. Now let's look at some other examples. Calculate the number of moles of the following substances. So again, we have the formula number of moles is the mass over the molar mass. So number of moles of silicon is equals to the mass, 42 grams, and the AR of silicon is 28. So that will give us 1.5 mole. Now let's look at chlorine. Chlorine gas is Cl2. So the number of moles is the mass, which is 1.42 grams, divided by the MR to 35.5, which is 0.02 mole. Now, pause the video and try the next two examples. Now check your answer. Do you get the correct answer? For part D, it is important to remember that the mass must always be converted to grams. So from kilograms to grams, we need to multiply by 1000. Also check, do you include the units? Right, let's move on to the next set of questions. I've put the equation on the right side just to remind us. In many cases, we will have two known and one unknown, so it can be either one that is given in the question and you have to find the unknown. So over here, we are looking at just a different uh, quantity that we are finding, instead of finding number of moles, I can ask you to find mass. So we need to rearrange the equation. So mass of CO2 will be equal to the number of moles times molar mass, which is equal to 0 0.5 times the molar mass, which is 12 plus 2 times 16, which is 44. This gives us 22 grams. Let me show you one more example before you go on to try the remaining questions. Next question, mass of ammonium chloride, we have 1.2 moles times the molar mass, which is NH4Cl. This is 64.2 gram. Pause the video now and try the next two examples. Do you get all of them correct? Also check you, that you have the correct units. In this case, it will be grams. In cases where you have to round off values, Always give your answer to three significant figures. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you are now able to calculate the number of moles from a given mass or calculate the mass from a given number of moles of a substance. In order to do this well, you need to be strong in your chemical formula because not all the times the formula will be given. Also check that you do not make any careless mistakes and you always have your units. That's all. Thanks for watching.